Hi, and welcome to a new season. My name's Karen, and this is a channel for women in their 50s, 60s, and beyond. In today's video, we'll be doing a complete face of Believe Beauty, which is only available at Dollar General, and none of the products that you will be seeing today are over $5. It's amazing, including the nail polish. So come along with me if you like this look, and let's see how Believe Beauty works. So we're using All Believe Beauty today, and the first thing that I'm going to apply is the Radiantly Primed Face Primer. Right here. This is an illuminating primer, and it does have a lot of like a pearlescent type of a situation. So you can see the glow, it's very glowy. The next thing is the Believe Beauty Foundation. It's a skin finish foundation, medium to full coverage, and it's in the shade Linen. This goes on very light on me, but reserve judgment. <laughs> it looks crazy when it first goes on. Has a beautiful pump. I really like the, the pump and the glass jar. Very nice. Nice liquid foundation. And so we've got our primer and our foundation on. Now I'm gonna do some concealer. And uh, this is in Biscuit. So I'm gonna do some primer. And this is the Believe Beauty Primer right here. And this is in, what color? Uh, Universal, okay? So Universal Primer has a nice little doe foot up. primer on and I'm going to do a little bit of the Believe Beauty powder. This is in light to medium. It's matte blur loose powder. Use just a little bit under the eyes since I'm going to be doing um, eye makeup and I'm using their big brush. is their powder brush. It is a really nice, big, soft, fluffy brush. It feels really good on the skin, and we're just gonna apply it right under the eyes. So we're gonna be using the Plush Purples Shadow Palette today. Here's our pretty colors. You can see I've dipped into these. We've got, um, three mattes and three what I would call shimmers. Very pretty colors. I'm gonna use my Angie brushes <laughs> to apply these colors. I'm using the 501 brush first to go in and just lay down a, um, a base color. I'm gonna use this one up here just so I have something light as a base. And I'm gonna go in with the 502, and this will be to get me started. I'm gonna use this one right here, and this will get, get us started with a crease color. Okay, then we're just gonna do a little blend, blend, blend with the 503. This is the big fluffy brush, and I just wanna kinda of make sure that everything looks good. I 
I am gonna go into the purple just because it's in this palette and I wanna play with it. it. It's a pretty purple. I'm gonna kind of apply this very lightly in the center. Then what I wanna do is lighten up that inner corner a little bit. So I'm gonna go back into the light pinkish purple color. I do want to put a little bit of something down here, so I'm going to go back in with the 501 and use a little bit of that taupey brown. Now I'm going to go back in with the 502, which is a little bit fluffier, and just barely deepen just a tiny bit on the edge. Okay, I'm not gonna do any more shadow, but I am gonna do brows. Now, I picked up two different brow pencil, or two different brow things, uh, products. The first thing I picked up was this eyebrow styling gel. It has a little tiny tip and I could not use this. I don't know if I'm just not uh, talented enough to do it, but it was really, really dark. There were little flecks of stuff everywhere and I could not manage that. So that was not a product that I could use. So I went back and I got the uh, brow defining pencil, which like most of them has your spoolie at one end and then your little pencil at the other. And this I could work with better. Okay, we're gonna move on to eyeliner. And I actually got two different eyeliners. Um, one is in Slate, which is like a dark gray. Let me see if I can show this to you. It's a nice dark gray. The other one is uh, Olive, Olivia, sorry, Olivia. And it is like an olive green. I like both of these and I'm going to use both of these. I'm gonna use the slate on the top and then um, and I'm actually gonna do a tight line with this slate because I am gonna go in and do some eyelashes that are not Believe Beauty. So I wanna do a tight line up here for right now with the slate. And a tight line is when you just go up underneath the waterline instead of over the top of your lashes. And then I'm gonna use the Olivia along the bottom under my lashes for a little color. Be Voluminized Mascara in black. And it has a rubber tip, which I really like. This, um, this doesn't clump too much. Now, I have noticed that later on in the day, I will get some little tiny flakes and stuff, but that happens to me with almost every single mascara I've tried. Just gonna brush off the powder here. I don't really have any significant fallout that I can see, which is really nice. I got their light to medium get glowing highlight and contour palette. So that's what this looks like. So we'll start with the lightest and go to the darkest because I just want to use their brush. So I'm just going to pick this up on the very tips first and just apply it to the top of my cheekbone. So 
So before I apply their powder blush, I'm gonna use this um, cream blush. This is in the shade Tropical Sunset. It's Color Me Cream Blush. Really pretty peachy color. I thought it would look nice today with this. Just gonna use my ring finger. All right, so I'm gonna go into the contour now. I'm just taking this very lightly on the top of the bristles, hitting off the excess. Let's get into some lips. Now I got four different lip products and the first thing I wanna use is the liner. This is Long Lasting Lip Liner and it's in Barely There. So of course it's just a little uh, roll up. Let me see if I can get you to see what this looks like. Pretty pink color. And I'm gonna use this to outline my lips. Now like a lot of you probably, my lips are definitely not symmetrical. Uh, one side is more straight and the other side is more rounded. One side is higher, the other side is, I don't know, it's crazy. Anyway. The bottom I do first, cause that's easier. Okay, next thing we have here is the Believe Beauty. And this is in Moroccan Spice. It's their Satin Crush Lipstick. I think this is such pretty packaging. pretty fall color. I'm not using a lip brush today because I've got it outlined, so I'm just gonna put it on the outer corners. Then I have a matte lipstick I'm gonna use, and then I have a gloss. So I'm gonna be covered up. Then I'm gonna use this matte lipstick, Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. But here's what it looks like. It's kind of a dark mauvey pink. So I'm putting that on the inside. I just love the way lipstick brings that color into your face and makes your face look so much more balanced and even. Really, really nice. It feels good. Okay, this is the Believe Beauty Lustrous Lip Shine in Georgia Peach. All right, it's got a cute little doe fit applicator. Here's what it looks like. It's just a really pretty glossy pink. Okay, final is Believe Beauty Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. Makeup setting spray. Guys, this has the best mist. Look at this mist. It's like incredible. This is such a fine mist. It has a little bit of a fragrance, but it's not bad at all. And it's so fine. Oh God, it feels good. This would be something I'd like to keep in the refrigerator for summer because that feels so nice. It says it hydrates, preps, and sets skin for flawless makeup, and it leaves it looking with a healthy looking finish. So you can use this as a primer if you would like to, or as a setting spray, or a refresher. I wanted to mention that Believe Beauty has some lovely nail polishes. This is one of them. So I got two different colors. Folks, these were a dollar a piece, and I cannot tell you how good this is. This is currently curious. That's what I have here. And this is just one coat. I put the base coat on underneath. These are all a dollar. And then this one is perfectly paired, a little bit lighter one that I would probably use maybe during the spring, but gorgeous creamy colors. And I'm gonna insert a couple of images here.
I put on two coats with no base coat and after a week, I mean seven days, it was just barely starting to come off on the tips and I use my hands really hard. I garden, I wash dishes, I make the bed every day, I'm petting my dog, I'm scratching my hair, you know, whatever we do with our hands. We do so much with our hands and almost every nail polish I've ever used in like two days, I just wanna take it off because it looks awful and I don't like that chippy look. So I have been very impressed with this nail polish and for a dollar, I don't know how you can beat it. Okay, I am going to use something that is not Believe Beauty because um, I could not, their eyelashes are just like huge. I have really small eyes as you can see. So I'm gonna put these cute little Allure lashes on and I'll be right back. If you hear little ticky toes in the background, that is my doggy. He's my COVID puppy. Yes, I got a dog during COVID. I'm one of those people. But I wanted him anyway. Bentley, you want to come here and say hi? You want to come here and say hi? Come here. Come here. Come here. This is my boy. This is my boy, Bentley. Say hi. He is. He's a sweet boy. And he's very often in here when I'm filming. All right, guys. So I think that's it for today. So I appreciate you coming along with me today. And please remember, just by being you, you are enough. Bye.